With the fifth pick in the 2016 NBA TV mock draft, the Minnesota Timberwolves select hmm. Chris Dunn from Providence. The New Orleans Pelicans are on the clock. Okay, great assist uh, from Justin Kimbrell uh, right there. Uh, Chris Dunn, I got to go to you, Mr. Associate Commissioner of the Big League. <laughs> yes, before you even start to talk about how Chris Dunn makes your team better on the offensive end, you need to look at him defensively. This guy has the ability to become an elite defender in the NBA. He's got cat-like quickness. He has the anticipation skills of an NFL cornerback, and he's got a lot of grit to him, plays every single play. But offensively, he's explosive. He can handle the basketball. He runs the pick and roll extremely well. He's very creative off the pick and roll. He can finish himself. He can find teammates in front of him, to the side of him, and in back of him. Uh, I'm really bullish on Chris Dunn as an he, NBA he player. He was one of the guys you had your eye on, D.A. We talked about the draft in terms of a guy who could really mm -hmm. tilt the draft one way or the other. In a league that's, that's a point guard league now, to me, this guy's the best player in the draft. Mm -hmm. To me. In the league, if you're playing under these rules nowadays, you need an elite point guard to have a chance, any chance, to be good in this league. And to Stu's point, the defensive piece is what really sells me on Chris Dunn. He gets after people. The offense is very good right now. I think he can get better. But the defense, he's elite now defensively. And we're talking about being able to turn people over, get out in transition, get the ball to three-point shooters. That's what this guy is going to do at a very high level. Yeah, it, it would not surprise me if five or six years from now we look back and say this guy was the best player in this draft. I think the world of Chris Dunn. First of all, a as a kid, incredible, incredible hardship that he went through as a youngster mm -hmm. and then even coming to college and getting hurt. Uh, you know, Stu talked about his defense. When you talk to other coaches in the Big East, it's kind of like Revis Island. If he was on mm -hmm. one end of the floor defensively, they wouldn't even try to right. run a play over there. And athletically, his frame and his game, he reminds me a lot of Dwayne Wade coming out of Marquette. Dwayne Wade didn't have that long-distance shot, maybe mm -hmm. even still obviously not a great three-point shooter, but good enough yeah. that he's such a good athlete and such a good player. Chris Dunn's a kid you root for. He's going to be a success in the NBA, and I, it would not surprise me if he were a long-term All-Star. That's how good I think. Well, if he's that good, we're talking about a big impact for the Minnesota Timberwolves, a Absolutely. team with young talent now, uh, Thibodeau in charge. And, and what about Ricky Rubio? What's he thinking? Well, you know, I mean, Ricky Rubio is, is certainly there short-term, but long-term, if you're looking to improve that team right away, it certainly would make sense. Look, Rubio is a very good defensive player. Don't get me wrong. He's been a very good defensive player the last few years. But that in history of injuries, Offensively, he's been very streaky. Um, and so, if I'm Tom Thibodeau, do you look point guard? Do you look two guard maybe for like a buddy heel type here? Good, sure, would make sense. Fills a need. I think most people will tell you, though, at the top of the draft, you don't fill need. You take the best player that you think is out there. And Chris Dunn's the best player by a lot. Yeah, yeah I mean, the biggest difference to me, DA, between a guy like Rubio and a guy like Chris Dunn is that Dunn looks for his offense. And he mm -hmm. is a guy, I've watched this guy for two years, he will take and make mm -hmm. big shots. He wants that on his shoulders. The other intangible that Chris Dunn has that, you know, a lot of very good players in the league do, he has a high give-a-damn factor, <laughs> okay? He cares about winning. And, you know, and I think that that type of attitude really permeates throughout the teams that he's on. Yeah, that's also called a high give-a. There's a lot of... Yeah. But we can't Very go there on air. That <laughs> I got Basic it. Cable. But uh, more, <laughs> more on it, Chris Dunn. <laughs> uh, we're, we're, as we go to the Chris Dunn prospect profile. Now here's what happens. You can take it. Chris Dunn for Providence College. The biggest strength of my game is defense. You know, I think I'm very aggressive on that point. I think I'm physical, and I think I could uh, heat the ball up. My favorite athlete is definitely Rondo uh, because he impacts the game without him scoring. He could take over a whole game by having just 20 assists. I mean, he definitely should be respected. The biggest influence on and off the court probably be between my dad or my brother. You know, they did so much for me. You know, I'm one of those type of guys who believe in family. And without those two, I mean, I don't think I want to be in this point right now, you know. My brother, he was my first father before I met my actual dad. And once my dad came in my life, he changed my whole, he changed my whole world. One thing people may not know about me is uh, my favorite TV show is uh, Friends. You know, uh, I don't think people ever, ever realize that, but that's my favorite show. For draft night, you know, I'm going to try to make it classy, you know. Uh, I don't want to make too much of a big bang, you know, because... 
20 years from now, I want to look back and say, show my kids, you know, your dad was smooth. Uh, I'm definitely going to be looking spiffy that night.